Hello, this is Lance Cleveland. I'm going to show you the store pages add-on pack for Store Locator Plus. Do a quick intro here of how it works. Store pages will create uh, page site uh, pages on your WordPress site for your locations using the location data, and it uh, allows for SEO optimization that way. Uh, you'll need a sitemap plugin to get those listed by default into the uh, search engines, or you'll need to create linkages to the various store pages from static pages on your site. Uh, most new sitemaps will actually build the pages for you. So I'm going to start out here. I'm running just um, WordPress 3.5.1 with the 2012 theme, standard store locator plus and store pages installs. I have preloaded it with some test locations here. So uh, that's what we'll use to get started. And I'll show you how this works with the default uh, setup here. And this is how the default Store Locator Plus uh, search and websites work. So if I search for everything within 25 miles of Mount Pleasant, I can see that I've got a few locations here that come up. And I've got website links um, in my location data that go to the website, but it opens it in a new window. And it brings me directly to the site of the um, business listing that I have here. So I want to change that. I want to create some local content for these locations. And that's what I use store pages for. So if I come in here and look at manage locations, I have these buttons here to create a local store page for each of these locations. I'm going to actually go ahead and just create all of them right away with the create pages. And it is going to add the pages. Now I always want to do it for manage locations because it is going to create a linkage from this store ID to the store page um, that's created for each of these. That's a data field that's hidden on the store pages. That linkage needs to be there or the pages will not work. If you go here to store pages and add new store page, currently that does not work in reverse so you'll create an orphan page if you use this. This is here because it's part of the default WordPress uh, custom page types. And eventually I will be uh, adding a way to add the linkage from creating a page here back to a store ID. It's actually going to be extra work because you'll have to know the ID, go in, build your page, enter the ID number by looking it up here. Um, so right now the only way to do it is from manage locations and create your store pages right from here. So how does it create the pages? It actually just creates an HTML string and inserts it into the page content. And that HTML string is here. It uses this HTML and these custom store page shortcodes. These only work in this field. They do not work elsewhere on the site. They only work when creating a new store page or on a store page itself. They will not work on standard WordPress pages. So don't go sticking these codes on normal WordPress pages. Uh, only on custom page types that are store page page types. So this is how uh, the pages get created using this. I'll show you that HTML in a minute. A couple other things I want to do is I want to replace that web link that went to an external site with a link to my store page. So when people use that map, it's actually going to go to my store page first, and then I'm going to use this short code down here to actually provide a link out to the remote site. And I don't want it opening a new tab, so I'm going to turn those two things on. And there we go. So now when I created those pages back here from Manage Locations, and I click these buttons or I check these off and hit Create Pages, it reads this HTML writes it out to a new store page. Here we go. Those are all the pages. If we look at them, you'll see what was in that field goes right here. And behind the scenes is a hidden field that has the store ID number linked to it. You can't get to it right now. That will change hopefully in a, a future release. Uh, but for now, that's a hidden uh, piece of data. But I can go in here and now edit this and I can tweak this and put other HTML or take stuff out it only affects this one location. If I go and delete um, like the store name or the address or a country, it only affects this one store. Some people use that to take out this blank line if there's not a second address. Um, you know, there are ways I would like to modify that so it does it automatically, but for now that's uh, how some people are dealing with that. So that's where it created that store page. So let's go see how these store pages work on the site. Let's start out first by seeing the normal WordPress search. They are a custom page type by default in WordPress. Those are searchable by the default WordPress search. So I'm going to look up Tsunami and I can see all my custom pages now come up now that I've created them. And if I click on any one of these, it will actually show 
using those short codes, the data that's linked to it. And here you can see I've got a link out to the other site and that will take me off of my site to that site. So, um, so how does that work with the map? Well, I checked off uh, pages replace websites. So now if I come in here and I do the same search for Mount Pleasant, it's gonna give me the same results, but with a slightly different behavior. And what it's done is all these links that say website now go to my store page. And because I have prevent new window, it's actually gonna take me straight to that page on my site. Here it is. And now this is the link to the website. And of course you can uh, tweak that. In this case, it's gonna uh, not open a new window, but that has to do with the code. And I'll show you how to change that. So you'll see how to get that to open in a new window. Here we go. Okay, I don't want people leaving my site and forgetting where they came from. So this is standard HTML, target equals, I can put in blank. Uh, I don't like to do that. I don't like to open 500 different windows every time someone clicks a link. So I'm just gonna give the name, which is gonna be store web page as my target. That way, if people click multiple links, it just goes and opens in the same new tab. So that adding a target will uh, bring them to a new window. So there we go, I saved that setting. Now, to get this setting to take place, I need to come back to my locations and I need to recreate the pages. If I don't recreate the pages, it's not gonna read that setting, it's not gonna overwrite those pages. So I'm gonna come in here. I want all my pages, when they have that link at the bottom, to now open in a new window. So I'm gonna do that by checking these off. It's gonna read that HTML and recreate those pages. So I'll show you that it just rewrote those. And I'm gonna come into the store page and check it. Make sure my work is correct. I'm gonna edit this um, page here and I can see, I'm in text mode by the way, so I can see all the HTML goodness. And here is that link down here and I can see it's going to link to whatever location ID uh, URL is and set the target to a new window here, store page. And I'll show you how that works here from locations. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna do the same search. This is gonna work the same way as it did before with pages in place. And here we go. Website will still link locally, not a new window. This isn't the HTML that was changed. That's the settings from that other um, store pages settings page. This is what we changed was this URL. Previously, if I clicked this, it would fire off in the same window and take over my site and just send me off to some place else on the internet. In this case, I've added that target and it's now opening a new window. And I can show you up here, here's the new window that just opened, here's where I was. So in my Firefox browser, I just told it um, to open new windows in a new tab. So that's what it's doing there. So again, I'll show you that again. We'll come in here and if I click this link, you can see it's opening in a new window and I'm still back where I was. I'm not losing my visitor to another website completely and having them get lost somewhere out in the ether. So that's how that all works. That's the basic rundown of store pages. There's a lot of other things that you can do with uh, store pages and other plugins and, and really how your theme works with custom page types and how your sitemap, your Google sitemap or whatever sitemap plugin you're using works for creating Sitemaps will affect your SEO. Um, you can also do things like change that link that appears. Um, if you've got permanent links turned on and you want a special URL, you can change that. You can turn on and off um, comments and track back. So if you've got 10,000 locations that you're creating pages for, you don't have to go into every one of those pages here and turn on or turn off comments and track backs. You can do it from there and it will actually create when it does the new page. Um, it will do things like turn on and turn off comments and track backs, which are all you know these things here uh, by default. So that's how store pages, how it works. Hopefully that kind of gets you started and lets you build some uh, custom SEO content using the basic plugin and uh, the store pages add-on pack. Thanks for supporting Charleston Software. Have a good day.